The United States ranks among the top nations where rivers are suffering, degraded, fragmented, and stripped of life. One of the main culprits, dams. These structures disrupt the natural flow of rivers, turn floodplains into dry stretches of land, accelerate erosion, reduce riverbank vegetation, and destroy habitats that once supported diverse species. But there's something even more devastating than dams. Wildfires. Fires tear through already vulnerable landscapes, wiping out what little life remains near river systems. In Washington state, however, a surprising solution is making headlines. Beavers. That's right. Those buck-toothed engineers are helping bring scorched landscapes back to life. After wildfires decimated parts of the state, biologists released beavers into affected waterways, and what happened next was astonishing. Within months, signs of rebirth began to appear in areas that hadn't seen life in years. Let's take a closer look, starting with the Mississippi River, the central artery of American waterways. It impacts 40% of the continental U.S. and carries with it the consequences of intense human activity. Downstream, in the Gulf of Mexico, a massive dead zone forms each summer, caused by a toxic buildup of farming and industrial waste, especially nitrates and phosphorus. This pollution doesn't just affect the ocean. It erodes ecosystems all the way up the Mississippi's vast basin, leading to a loss of floodplain forests and wetlands, critical habitats for countless species. Floodplain forests, for example, are rich ecosystems that provide food and shelter for hundreds of birds, insects, fish, and mammals. In the upper Mississippi, these forests used to thrive, but now nearly half of them are gone. What remains is a ghost landscape, dead trees standing where vibrant forests once grew. Further south, in the lower Mississippi, only about 30% of the region is still forested, a fraction of what it once was. And here's where things get even more dangerous. These lost forests once helped regulate floods. Without them, the Mississippi has become a high-risk flood machine, overflowing year after year, damaging homes, habitats, and communities. Now shift your focus to Washington State. On the surface, it looks pristine, but beneath that image lies a similar story. Nearly half of all rivers in Washington have been altered. Large dams and human development have reshaped river ecosystems dramatically, and just 2% of original floodplain forests and wetlands remain. Then came the wildfires. One in particular, in 2015, tore through 11,000 acres near the Twisp River, a tributary of the Metho. The fire devastated the already fragile landscape, pushing biodiversity to the brink. So, what helped turn the tide? Beavers. Once native to the region in large numbers, beavers were hunted nearly to extinction by European settlers. But in 2007, the Metho Beaver Project launched a mission to bring them back. After the 2015 fire, they released just three pairs of beavers into the streams of Black Canyon. Those six animals not only survived, but built dams that multiplied over time. These structures blocked streams, created ponds, and rehydrated dry floodplains, bringing back wetlands that had disappeared decades earlier. Why do beaver dams matter so much? Simply put, they slow water down. They help rivers overflow their banks naturally, recharging underground aquifers and reviving the surrounding habitat. In a post-fire landscape, beaver-built wetlands act like nature's healing balm. They attract birds, deer, elk, and even predators like coyotes and bears, rebuilding the ecosystem from the bottom up. Despite being slow and vulnerable to predators, beavers play a huge role in ecosystem restoration. That's why scientists call them a keystone species. Without them, entire ecosystems unravel. But with them, whole landscapes come back to life. Since 2008, more than 300 beavers have been relocated to the upper metho tributaries through partnerships between the U.S. Forest Service and local wildlife agencies. These animals have created 176 ponds, each capable of storing large amounts of water, some up to a million gallons. Altogether, these ponds collect an estimated 65 million gallons annually, enough to support a small town for decades. More than that, beaver ponds help reduce the risk of wildfires. Water doesn't burn, 
And in 2015, firefighters even used beaver ponds to fight the flames. These ponds also trap sediment, slow mud flows, and buffer against floods. The benefits don't end there. Beaver ponds are also ideal nurseries for salmon. These fish are born in freshwater, migrate to the ocean, and return to spawn. But their habitats have been shrinking fast. In Washington, development has erased or altered up to 90% of land along rivers. In places like Puget Sound, a third of the shoreline is no longer suitable for salmon due to human-made reinforcements and loss of vegetation. So, the next time you see a beaver dam, ask yourself, could nature's engineers be the key to restoring our ecosystems? And what would you do if you saw one near your house? Would you let nature take its course? Or would you try to relocate it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. See you in the next video.